He Shen was born in 1750, 39 years younger than Qianlong. In 1775, He Shen was noticed by Qianlong because of his talents. Then He Shen gradually became Qianlong's most trusted and favorite government officer. In later Qianlong's time, people called it He Shen. 二皇帝 which means wise emperor. Qianlong also arranged his favorite daughter, Princess He Xiao of the first rank, to marry He Shen's son. So some people believed He Shen was Qianlong's male concubine, and made up a romantic story. This story is like this. When Qianlong was a crown prince, one day he came into the imperial palace and met Yong Zheng's consort Ma Jia Shi, who was wearing the makeup. Qianlong was attracted by this beautiful girl and couldn't help him himself to cover her eyes. Ma Jia Shi was scared and threw her comb. Which hit Qianlong's forehead. Unfortunately, this was seen by Qianlong's mother. She believed Ma Jia Shi was trying to seduce Qianlong and decided to kill Ma Jia Shi. Qianlong felt very guilty. He drew a mark using red pen on Ma Jia Shi's neck, and wishes. Ma Jia Shi could begin a new life in future. Twenty years later, when Qianlong first time met He Shen, he found He Shen looked really like Ma Jia Shi, and He Shen had a red birthmark on his neck. So Qianlong believed He Shen was Ma Jia Shi's reincarnation. And fall in love with him. This is an eye-catching story. Unfortunately, it isn't true. The person made up this story didn't know history well. First, except fictions, no formal historical documents recorded Qianlong was a gay. Second, in ancient China, although Homosexual marriage was illegal. Homosexual relationship was commonly accepted by people. Qianlong once published a law to punish the homosexual relationship. Well, most government officers didn't follow it. In ancient China, both gay and lesbian commonly existed. But lesbian's story rarely was recorded in official historical documents. This because in ancient time, women rarely had chance to be recorded in the official historical documents. Tang Dynasty famous female poet Yu Xuanji had both female lovers and male lovers. I re- really love her poetry, Ji Li Yi Yuan Wai. In twenty-six Han emperors, ten of them had male concubines, and their stories were recorded in official historical documents. Some people believe those Han emperors are bare sexuality. I don't agree, because. In ancient Chinese culture, the mingle of marriage was giving birth kids, so the family could continue. Ancient Chinese guy generally had a common marriage; they had a wife and kids. According to today's standards, most ancient Chinese guy were bare sexuality. After Han Chi- Han Dynasty. Homosexuality became more popular. 
In northern and southern dynasties, some couples even divorced because of husband's homosexual behavior. Considering in ancient Chinese marriage, the wife hardly got divorced. I think it's more accurate that the husband abandoned his wife because of his homosexual lovers. In Tang and Song dynasties, homosexual relationship became less popular. But in Northern Song dynasty, male prostitutes appeared. They provided service to males, not females. In the Ming and the Qing dynasties, homosexual behaviors became very, very popular again. Especially in the Qing Dynasty, in ancient China, prostitutes had a very low social status, but this industry was legal. Lots of famous poets or poetries were created in Brussels. In the Qing Dynasty, government published strict laws to Ban government officers from having physical relationship with prostitute. But soon, those smart government officers realize, in the law, having physical relationship with prostitutes means having relationship with females. If they had a physical relationship with males, their behaviors didn't obey the law. So homosexual physical relationship became very popular in the Qing Dynasty. That's why no one followed the Qianlong's law to punish homosexual behavior. In ancient China, being a gay or lesbian never made people feel humiliated. If you are interested in this topic, I can make more videos in future. Just write your thoughts. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.